one more. I forgot about the brain. How can I forget about the brain? Okay, so from this sagittal view here, what should you know? Here is the cerebellum. And I'm actually, I have my learning outcomes brought up here. Uh, that was some extra letters. In my learning outcomes, I've got listed here. Okay, in the cerebellum, I need to know the arborvitae. That's this tree-like part here. And I need to know the cortex, which is the outside, the gray matter. This in the sheep brain is still pretty obvious, right? Um, also on the sagittal section, I need to know the thalamus. And just underneath that is the hypothalamus. Not quite as obvious in the sheep brain, but if I was going to point to it, I would point to the area just underneath the thalamus, kind of a little bit anterior. Um, because posterior, that's where our midbrain is. We've got our pons, our medulla, medulla oblongata, and our spinal cord. What else do we have in this view? we've got our corpus callosum. That um, attaches the two sides of the brain to each other. And the last one on the list here is the superior colliculus. This one looks a little different in this picture. Um, it might have been actually hard for you to determine what was epithalamus and what was superior colliculus in this image. It's actually a little bit more obvious, I think, in the sheep brain. Okay. That's the sagittal view. Oops. Here is the ventral view. All right, so on the ventral side, what do I need to know here? Um, I think I can do everything in the sheep brain, which is what I would have you do on the practical because I can poke them with sharp things. Um, so sagittal section, I'm sorry, ventral side, what cranial nerves do you need to know? Optic. This is the optic nerve right here. What is this right here below it? The optic chiasm. Here's optic nerve. Here's optic chiasm. It becomes optic tract, but optic tract isn't on your list for the ventral side. So don't learn it. Just kidding, you should learn it. Um, ventral side, we still are doing cranial nerves. Okay, this cranial nerve is oculomotor. Right here. Here we have accessory nerve. Let's, let's be thorough on right nerve. And the last one is olfactory. Maybe not the order you would have done them in, but it doesn't matter. Okay, ventral side, we've got medulla, pons, and midbrain. So let's do those. This here, oh, actually I already had the first part written. Medulla, this big thing right here. We've got the pons right here, this pond shaped thing. And then this entire thingamajigger is our midbrain where the oculomotor nerve originates from. Pituitary gland is would be on top of here if it was present. It is not present in either one of these pictures. It would be um, covering up all of this stuff here. So I added in a picture where you can see the pituitary gland. So you can see how it covers up everything in the middle here besides it's right behind the optic chiasm, right in front of the pons, and it is um, a lot bumpier than what was there. 
it's a lot smaller than the mammary glands that you don't need to know. It's covering up the ocular motor nerves. So that's what the pituitary gland looks like. It sticks out almost farther than the pons does. Okay, lastly, I believe we've got this backside here. And from here, we've got the superior and inferior colliculi baby butt on a toilet seat. Cerebellum, of course. This here is the thalamus. Um, I shouldn't be saying this because I actually don't have you know that from this view. So you don't have to know that, but it can be helpful. Um, and pineal gland that produces melatonin. Then if you, this is from a view a little bit higher up. So here is the superior colliculus. And this right here is the corpus callosum. Really cool view of that. Where you can see the fibers running along from side to side. Let me make sure I got everything from um, that back view. Yeah, so pineal gland and colliculi are when the cerebellum is removed, that you need to be able to see that. I mean, I guess things you could do here also would be the occipital lobe, parietal lobe, are the ones you could mostly see from this view. Cerebrum, gyrine sulci. Pia matter, of course, is all over this thing. Dura matter and arachnoid matter has been removed.